My name's John, and this is Almost a Ride on Air Raider. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, and thanks for watching. What I have here is a Xmark Metro 36 pulling a Brindley tow behind core air raider. This air raider here is a 40 inch width, and what's great about this setup, it's cheap. If you already own the belt drive walk behind, the Brindley tow air raider is roughly $300. You can find one of these aerators on the used market for $100. To install the aerator on your mower, just remove the mounting plate for the Velky if you have one on there. Just a simple piece of angle iron with a hole drilled in it to attach the trailer, and then you're off and running. How well does it work? Well, it works great. Pulls great cores. If you need extra cores per square foot, just make another pass in a different direction. The riding position is a little awkward. But you get used to it when the ground's soft. If the ground's hard, it's not a good experience. But other than that minor issue, this is a really great setup. You can go as fast as you want. It turns real nice. You just, same as riding a Velky. There's no difference. How safe is this? Would I give this to an employee? Probably not. But since I'm working by myself, I can just go out there and do the work. If you're used to running a Velky, it has the same feeling. It's basically you're riding a trailer. How well does it do on hills? Let me show you. Really any place you can take a Velky, you can take this. As you can see, I'm easily going up this hill. There's really no trouble pulling me. If I were perhaps to get into trouble, you can just hop off and uh, walk up the hill like you normally would if you couldn't make it up with a Velky. The area pulls half inch cores. I'm getting roughly an inch and a half core of depth. It has six rows of tines, spaced eight inches apart, and they're in clusters of two to make turning easier. The one thing I would add to this setup would be a electric spreader mounted to the front of the walk behind, allowing you to spread grass seed and aerate in one single pass. One thing I forgot to mention, and this is the most important thing, you're not walking. You're able to travel up to six miles an hour with a belt drive walk behind, really being extremely efficient compared to running a walk behind aerator. You're not getting as many cores per square foot with this setup compared to a walk behind aerator, you can just make another pass over the same area to add more cores per square foot. If you found any benefit to this video, please consider subscribing and thanks for watching.